so i was pretty clear on that i will join speed only and uh, then sir i because in the beginning it was very overwhelming too much of information was there and i was but then i realized ki i just kept at it i kept watching videos i kept making my own notes and throughout the 3 years i think i watched almost all videos i just wanted to finish whatever was there in the app of course the platform that i prepared on which has helped me immensely throughout the process i think the platform is excellent so i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute to dr arjun for scoring a very good rank of rank number 423 in all india in uh, super specialty of dm medical group in neat ss session 2024 congratulations to you doctor thank you so much sir so it's wonderful and uh, to have your presence uh, in this interview today and we wish to know your detailed background uh, history from where you started till date what have you done sir i did my uh, mbbs from armed forces medical college pune sir after that sir i have completed my md from assam medical college dibrugarh sir and then uh, now i am like going to pursue i am interested in gastroenterology sir so let's see i sit till now counseling has not been done so you, uh, great great to know and uh, your accomplishment and uh, It's wonderful, and uh, and can we know you are in uh, part of army right now? No, sir. Actually, I did my uh, five years of bond service, sir, and then after then I gave NEET PG, and then I joined my MD in Assam Medical College, and then after I appeared for the six. Is it like a short service, right, doctor? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay, right. Now, can we know why there's a special interest for DM Medical Gastro? uh sir actually when uh, uh, after i joined my medicine then my professor uh, actually i worked more in rheumatology but then actually my immediate professor was uh, a gastroenterologist and he was very interested and he taught us very well during the rounds and all so eventually i developed more i leaning towards a gastroenterology uh, subject sir okay now once you decided to do superficiality what all you did from the point of time and how you prepared to achieve this rank what is your preparatory strategy so actually uh, the moment i joined uh, sir my md course so uh, actually when i was doing my pg preparation only then from then only i was searching ki what institutes are providing coachings for dm entrance examinations so i was pretty clear on that i will join speed only uh, from that time only so from the very first week of my md i contacted you also i had spoken to you also and i joined <laughs> my actually i had texted you sir and i said ki sir there is so much of material in this i am not able to navigate what to do and then you said you just do have whatever harrison based is given in the app and then not not much is required and uh, then sir i because in the beginning it was very overwhelming too much of information was there and i was uh, very confused my basics were not getting clear but then i realized ki i just kept at it i kept watching videos i kept making my own notes and throughout the 3 years i think i watched almost all videos and i made a detailed notes of everything uh, hand matlab hand made my personal notes i made and that was my own strategy so i had to, i just wanted to finish whatever was there in the app although i was not able to so the the thing is i mean as you rightly said when you look for the first time it will look how to do it i mean what to do it and how Sir. to do it Sir. and uh, but once you been there with for most one week to 10 days then after that you'll know okay fine so yeah. this is what it is meant for <laughs> yeah. uh, so and and it will it 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 is in such a way that i mean student comes from different background actually they know basics well certain yeah. people don't know basic well yeah. so the content are from the basics to a little advanced level yeah. so they True, can sir. they can fit into what they want yes, and they can take what they want yes sir so, so actually the harrison based videos were actually very comprehensive but then later on the live sessions also i saw those videos also and those were also adding at least something to whatever was already had been taught in the harrison based videos some new information some new classification so it felt like i'm always updating my information that even means. when i'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, that's what we want to give actually sir, that's what sir. students should, should not have a static information See, yes, the very sir. idea in the background you should not have time like record once in a year and put it there Sir. and then don't care about that material sure. and yes, then sir. just makes the student to know that doesn't work that sir. way medicine sir, that is that that is being achieved sir, very well because there was i remember so many instances on so many topics where i had uh, like for for example aml so the aml classification taught in the harrison based classes were the older one 2016 one but by the time i was, I was watching the live ones uh, ma'am was teaching uh, the late 2022 who classification so it felt like i'm also updating uh, my knowledge so so there's a constant upgrade so we tell ourselves are we uploading videos 
PPTs and questions on daily basis. Are yeah. we doing it or not? That's what internally our yes, team, we always yes, sir. Yes, sir. talk to us. So that uh, the student should always be motivated, should be engaged. Sir. So, and really, uh, very good doctor. We, uh, you gave a good opinion about it. And also, sir. and can you tell us more on how much of time that was spent on that? I mean, I mean I, we want a little detail uh, uh, on your preparation. Sir, uh, uh, apart from like whatever time I was spending in my residency, uh, I used to come back and I just watch videos. So per day, initially, sir, it was, uh, I could only manage three, four hours, at least in the first year of residency because there was not much time. But in second year, since we started getting free time, so I used to give as much time as possible, like around probably seven, eight, nine hours, whatever I could give. So I, I, that, that is how I was able to finish the entire, almost entire material in the app. So what happened third year, doctor? Third year, sir, I actually, uh, while I, when I entered my third year, I had already done the entire uh, Harrison. Once superficially and one once nicely. So twice I had done my entire Harrison. So in the third year, sir, actually, I just uh, wanted to uh, familiarize with my own notes so that I have a mental picture where what is written where. So, but since it is so, the notes had become in GBs. <laughs> in gig. So it was very difficult to form a, at least a photographic uh, image in my mind that what is written where. And so last eight, nine months, I did that only. I did not di didn't do anything else. I did not open any other book. I just kept whatever. If I, if there's some confusion, I'll watch that video, only that video. And I'll just refer to my notes, which was entirely I made from the app only. So you would have got your exam also, right? Final year, you were... Uh... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Final yes. exam. Final exams also. So once that exam is over, when when uh, you were uh, finally we completed, sir, exam? actually uh, around I got a time of around uh, one and a half months before, uh, like after my MD final exam. So you finished somewhere around January, is it? Uh, yes, sir, yes. Okay, so February and March. So that two sir. months uh, of time, sir. So you then that time you went in full mode. Yes, sir, yes. Sir. Okay, so uh, can you tell us how your practice on your questions? Sir, questions, I actually, uh, because uh, I tried to incorporate MCQs early, but I was not able to because uh, it was very difficult to uh, convince myself that for a long, long pattern based exam, I should do MCQs. So it, it actually, I got very late that I should start doing MCQs. Otherwise, I won't be able to. So that was one mistake I made. So I started with MCQs very, very late, like around my final MB, uh, MD examinations. So, but then I realized that doing MCQs is also reinforcing my memory only. And in the end, in the MD final exam, we just write whatever comes to our head. It's not like we have prepared that answer from before. Whatever we have learned in three years, we write on the paper. So I should have done MCQs much before then I started. But once I started, I tried to do at least 100 MCQs, 150 MCQs per day. And I tried to time myself, like I wanted to do any MCQ in less than one minute. So that was my target every day or at least every other day I was trying to do it. How you could plan such early? I mean, because three years before the line, where the neat uh, SS super result exams are also very nice and not very advanced yes. time. And yes. it's very, very first time it started like a change of pattern also yes. in between. And uh, you have planned well that you have been all along preparing with your uh, yes, residency and the SS simultaneously parallel. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. and uh, I mean, I have not seen this is the first interview I am uh, experiencing and making a student may understand myself. That yes. how meticulously you have planned so that yes. you have not wasted. But the, the end is the most important. I mean, yes. starting early is one point, but yes. you have not wasted a year now. Yes. You have one and a half months is the break time. Now yes. you have got into a seat. So yes. now that has beautifully, the time has been beautifully managed. Yes. Without undergoing one more year or two years and undergoing that kind of a cycle. Sir. I mean, uh, I, I congratulate you on that for your sir, thank you. thank uh, you, early planning, good execution sir. and sir. balance, work-life balance, sir. time uh, management, everything. Uh, I appreciate you uh, for taking care of yourself <laughs> well. Sir, I know. Very good. So now how many questions in the real exam you answered? Sir, I answered, I, I wanted to answer all the questions. I don't know, one got missed somewhere. So 149. Okay, very nice. Sir. Sir. I congratulate you for that as well. Sir. And you have taken full paper. Whenever whenever people attempt for close to 150, that means they are answering 150 questions. Paper. Yes, sir. Very good. Now, what will be your advice for the future aspirants of uh, DM superficiality? Sir, 
sir actually uh, after i did uh, read everything and then i appeared for the exam i felt that uh, the paper at least the neat ss paper is based much more on the basics of each to each uh, topic so for example like before the exam i was reading uh, some neurology all mutations i was remembering trying to remember but i think probably do that much detail is probably required for ini in neat ss we should focus on the basics of all the topics that we are uh, reading and we should not go in very detail unless we are also preparing for that same subject ini uh, because in going such details we miss out on the basics of a lot of topics plus what i had or one mistake i had also made that because lot of questions were on poisoning toxicology. so poison the so toxicology i had not prepared that well but since we deal with toxicology a lot in the uh, wards and everything so probably that was one helpful i got help there because i we could i could did i could answer some questions but i think i did not prepare for toxicology per se i, I it did not occur to me that that can also be asked in in the exams so that was a mistake i made other than that sir i think focusing very well on basics because i remember in uh, rheumatology because rheumatology i had worked in, during my residency also a lot so like i was expecting some good level because i had participated in quizzes also so they asked to differentiate between ra and fibromyalgia so that is a uh, basic uh, level question which we should be able to know so that i think focusing on basics is much more important at least for neat ss okay in that situation let us know of 150 questions were from exactly the pg standard and uh, is it fine part one question my part two question is is it enough that we stick on only to harrison yes sir very easily i think a person who has done harrison well could have answered probably almost all questions okay so the question was well within harrison and so you didn't jump on to next slide no, no. next level nothing. no sir. no sir okay because this student might want actually of the interview sir. they were you're watching this and they want to know the clarity so that they can prepare themselves sir. i think sir only one question was there which i was not even aware ki from which chapter it was it was some picture of one baby and some deformed joint was there and the options were also very i think that was the only one question which was probably i don't know from i think sorry please there somewhere in harrison but i don't know from where it was so other than that i think pediatrics sir 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 some deformed joint they were showing and mm -hmm. so i am not sure great now time to thank and whom all you want to thank they helped you from day one of your career till date wish you can use this platform to thank them yeah sir uh, sir my parents obviously my my siblings and uh, my wife and uh, also sir of course the platform that i prepared on which has helped me immensely throughout the process uh, i used to make text uh, i think mohan raj sir used to text yeah, i am having this problem can you please sort it out and he was very helpful and i think the platform is excellent for all uh, pg aspirants who are, want to do a very very good preparation while pursuing their uh, residency and uh, once again we have huge respect for you for two aspects number one you have been in a service uh, for yeah. a short service uh, yeah. for country and being a doctor and being that service is an an extraordinary service we always consider we have all huge respect people working in service number one yeah. so on behalf of uh, speed medical institute we wish you and for being in service and yeah. also serving the people ser uh, serving the people uh, on the need in emergency and also serving the civilian and in in as a doctor yes in social life so we have we have great respect for people who are in uh, service and uh, serving people and need an emergency and also uh, as a doctor serving people in civilian life in social commitment for both and uh, we have huge respect for you and to dr arjun and uh, and also Uh, we wish you all the very best and all the success to have a great career ahead in your fifth super specialty of your choice of dm medical gastroenterology once again we wish you all the very best and all the success thank you very much thank you so much sir